Welcome to Empties for the month of April and May. I am not going to spend a lot of time with this introduction because we have a lot of products, including a lot of food and supplements, as always, skincare, beauty, home products, um, self tanning, uh, you name it, it's all <laughs> an empty today. I have a ton of stuff, so stick it out, jump on a cardio machine, take some notes, take advantage of the links that I provide. I am so thankful for you supporting me. As always, tap the top link in the description box below. That will direct you to the corresponding blog post where you can have everything because I can't put everything down below. There's too much and the characters are limited. The blog post, they are not. So I, I cover a lot. So let's just dive in to my empties for the last couple of months. Starting with skincare and cosmetics, we have the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Single Towelettes. I use these for travel, so I will be putting them to use very soon. And I also use them when I do my PM skincare routine on the road, and also for when I have guests, like when my out-of-state daughters come home to visit, which I'll have an out-of-state daughter coming home from North Carolina today for just the weekend. As you know, I cut my products open. I have the May Love Face Cleanser for Dry Skin. This was sent to me. It was an okay product, nothing that I would purchase. I also have a little travel size of the Dermalogical Special Cleansing Gel. Also a nice product, but not anything that I would purchase. Something that I do repurchase is the Colleen Rothschild Micro Mineral Resurfacing Scrub. This is such a lovely exfoliator. I also love my Dr. Brandt, so I would say those would be the two that I would recommend. I will have this one linked and I will have the Dr. Brandt one linked as well. Another amazing product by Colleen Rothschild is the Matcha Tea Treatment Toner. Love everything about this product, including the pump, which is something that I do place value on. L'Occitan, wonderful product. You know I love it for the body, but I do love it for the face as well. I have a couple of samples that probably came with something that I bought. This is the Immortal Divine Cream and their serum, both amazing. I'm sure they're pricey, so it would be a splurge, but I absolutely love them. And if I were in the market, potentially I would purchase them. I would definitely recommend them, but I have other products right now that I'm using. I have a puff pad. Um, I buy these in bulk on Amazon. They'll be linked. They're just nice to have for your face powder, for your touch up, and then to periodically pitch them and, and get a new one. And then here we have a lip pencil. This is the Huda Beauty one that I've used for years and then it got discontinued, or I should say upgraded to a different style. I will have the new one, um, which is retractable. The old style was a lip pencil that you sharpen. I actually prefer the ones that you sharpen to outline the lip, but I don't outline my lip with this product. I just fill it in. So I'm looking for something different when it comes to a lip pencil to outline the lip, and then I want a moisturizing one to fill in the lip before applying lipstick. And I have always found that filling in your lips with a lip pencil will help to keep your lipstick or lip gloss um, applied. So I've always done that. And the Huda Beauty is more moisturizing, so it's perfect for filling in the lip. Um, I just don't prefer it to outline. So again, I always use two lip pencils. I will have the MAC lip pencil that I use for outlining, and then along with the newer edition of the Huda Beauty that I use to fill in, both will be linked. Here we have a City City Lips by City Beauty. This was a plumping, just a clear gloss. I did like it. Um, if you don't like the sensation of a plumping lip product though, I would say steer clear of this one because you definitely can feel it. 
and always on repeat to clean my permanent trays from having Invisalign and Paul has uses these as well for his trays and Chloe uses them for her trays is the Retainer Bright Cleansing Tablets perfect, amazing, use one per day. I believe Paul breaks his in half to stretch one tablet a little more. I probably should start doing that. The Opalescence Go Tooth Whitening System that I've used for years. I absolutely love, love, love this product. I used to be able to get it in the the 20%. This box actually says 10%, but I believe there's a 15%. Regardless, I use one to two of these per week. Lately, it's been more like one, which is okay because I use baking soda in between. I'll be sure to have my teeth whitening products in routine video linked in the description box because everything is the same. Let me also mention my Amazon storefront. I really stay on top of that and I get some assistance with, from Paul. We stay on top of keeping that um, current. So there will be a link in the description box. And don't forget about the corresponding blog post, which is always your top link, so that you can go to my Amazon storefront. If you're ever looking for anything, that is such a go-to place. Also, if you follow me on Instagram stories, and I'll insert an image here somewhere, I have link tree. So if you tap the link in my Instagram bio, it will take you to another page that will have several different links. My Amazon storefront is there as well as other links too, but I love this product. We'll always use it until, it, hopefully it's never discontinued. Chapstick Original, this is Paul's go-to. Um, when I met him 30 over 33 years ago, we just celebrated our 32nd wedding anniversary. Um, he had this on him and he's used the classic original ever since. And if I'm in a pinch, I will use it. They're all over the house. <laughs> so they're always being emptied. A really lovely product from um, L'Occitan is their lip balm. I don't know the price. This was a small little one that probably came in a kit, but I love any, really any lip balm. So, and I, I look for different things, but that was a lovely product. And moving on to um, hair care, anti-residue shampoo by Neutrogena. I only use this shampoo on days that I am getting my hair touched up, the color touched up. My hairstylist, she likes me to come in with clean, dry hair. And this is an anti-residue shampoo, so it will break down any buildup of residue. So I've always used this and I go in again with clean, dry hair. I do still shampoo. I'll put my most recent go to the salon with me because I do have one that I filmed, I believe this year, and it's really current. Nothing has changed with my hair color, cut, anything like that. So that video will be linked down below. And then she turned me on to the Joyco K-Pack. She uses Joyco Color on my hair, which you can get to all that information in the color touch-up video where I take you to the salon. But Lori, my hairstylist of 32 years, yes, it will be 32 years this uh, October. She turned me on to the Joyco K-Pack Reconstructing Conditioner. I use both the conditioner and the shampoo, and it's a fantastic product. Joyco is just a fantastic line. And once in a blue moon, you probably see this in my empties, I break one of these little black clips, um, but I have a whole huge supply of these, <laughs> and I can't even open it because it's broke. There we go, little clip here. Um, I use these daily just to clip my hair up for different things, whether it's getting ready, self-tanning, just getting my hair out of my face, Face, maybe for a workout if I need it, but those clips get plenty of love. I also stock the guest bathroom for when guests come, and I don't mind that periodically one breaks because, again, I have a whole stash of them. Moving on to hand and body, but before we do, let me just share that I believe the top that I'm wearing is still available. I will have it linked in the description box below. Starting with this hand cream, it's by Nux. 
I'm not going to pronounce it because it's probably French, I'm guessing. it's This is Paris, so yes, it would be. Um, but this is a great product. I don't know where or why I got turned on to this hand cream many years ago, but and I don't know if I just had an extra one or where this came from, but it, it's a great hand cream. And I'll be honest, as much as I love my L'Occitane, and some of you have even sent me this hand cream in just little gift packages, and I just do. I love my uh, Delicious Hands by L'Occitane. I'm actually wearing it right now. I applied it right before filming. I have so many of these. So thank you if you sent me one. I have so many of these in different sizes and I love it. But what I don't like with hand creams is such a pet peeve of mine. And let me know if you have little pet peeves like this, but it's a screw cap and it's little. So I just screwed that off. That doesn't work for hand cream. It's just, it's so little and then you've got to screw it on. It drives me crazy. I want my hand cream to be well, and then that one's broke, but in a flip top. I want it to be where I can open it and snap it closed because what will happen in the car is I will drop one and then I have to go fish for it. So it's just a Tracy-ism, <laughs> I guess you could say. It just drives me crazy, but it's this the, the L'Occitane is such a lovely product. Both of them are great. Another product from L'Occitane, this was a sample that was sent to me or, or came free purchase samples. This is the um, foot cream and wow, this is a lovely product. If you are someone who likes your foot cream, I'm not going to go out of my way or spend the money on a foot cream, but when I get one or if I receive one, you better believe I'm going to use it because I feel like it's a... It's very pampering, so I do love it. Another L'Occitane product that is always on repeat, it's the Almond Shower Oil. I keep the, the container in my shower and then I just refill it. And I actually, this past year, have gotten a couple gifts of this, even the refill. So clearly some of you, my clients or part of my audience, subscribers, you know me well because I do periodically get surprise gifts and it's L'Occitane products and I'm always thrilled. But I use this daily along with my soap. Speaking of soap, Lever 2000 is kind of the go-to soap in the house. I love the L'Occitane soaps, but I'm not always repurchasing, just ease and expense. So when I run out, Paul buys our toiletries. This is what he buys. It works. <laughs> it works. Um, I have a random nail file, so we'll put that in there. And then always my Gillette Mach 3 razor cartridge refills. I'll have them linked. You know I use a man's razor, always have, always will, and I'll have the razor linked also. Cetaphil moisturizing cream, extremely moisturizing. If you don't like extremely moisturizing, this may not be for you. I've shared before, the dermatologist that we go to recommended it, not only for body, but for face. And I would say, I wouldn't use this on your face if you're excessively oily. Um, I don't use this product every day and I certainly wouldn't use it under makeup, but I don't use a moisturizer under makeup, only around the eye area because I produce so many oils. But Paul uses this product daily for body and face, yes. A few years ago, I turned him on to body lotion and he can't go back. <laughs> I think at first he thought it was silly to apply lotion to his body and now he can't go back. It doesn't surprise me. Another, I guess we'll say lotion, is a self-tanning lotion. I, I am doing a little self-tanning currently um, just because I'm in the process of getting ready for a, a couple photo shoots. So I wanted a little bit of color because it does look better in photos where you're showing some skin. This is the Bondi Sands, the Australian Tan Everyday Gradual Tanning Milk. Lovely product. If you like your gradual self tanners, which I do, this is a great one. I love that it's a pump and it dries down quickly. 
and it doesn't have a nasty odor. It actually has a pleasant odor. I do find that several hours later, all tanners do leave a scent to your skin. Some are worse than others. This one is not bad at all. Only you would probably be able to detect it no one else would so definitely recommend and then we have a sunscreen the Aveeno protect and hydrate sunscreen spf 60 fantastic sunscreen highly highly recommend paul's go-to deodorant he didn't used to use this one bobby i believe turned him on to it and it's the degree ultra clear black white it's called so if your man is looking for a deodorant this may be the one got a patch on the booty i'm with you i got a patch on the booty right now and i change that patch every five days changed it today Estradiol. This is my estrogen um, for my HRT. I also take progesterone at bedtime. Okay, Kirsten turned me on to the Sharpie Felt Tip Black Ink. I know, who does black ink? Not typically Tracy, but she is. These are really fine pointed and they have a purpose. I use them for my personal note cards. I'm segueing away from my daily documents and I'm now doing index cards because I want something that I can put cards in several spots to read them throughout the day. And I find that I'm reading more of my daily words and my daily messages by doing so. And I also want something that can be passed down when I'm not here. Um, I think my loved ones will really benefit and enjoy reading all of the little nuggets that I wrote about just living your best life, living a mastery life, stepping into your power, choosing your heart, overcoming, adapting, all of that. Speaking of all of that, check out last Tuesday's YouTube video where I talk about being resilient. Um, what type of attitude do you have? Are you narrow and negative? Or are you positive and expansive? What a powerful message with a great exercise. Check that video out, it will be linked. Favorite pen is the Zebra. This is broke and it doesn't work anymore, but my favorite blue ink pen. And I always have a Super Sharpie on me. Yes, a permanent Super Sharpie, always. In fact, here's the one that I'm using right now to cross things off. So got to make sure I throw away the right one. Used up and we do a lot of using up shipping tape. I've been ordering a lot of things in preparing for some travel for summer vacation with the family leaving very soon. Um, so we a lot of things coming and going. Yes, we do that. And then our HP Office 20, the paper that we use in our two printers. Yes, I do print a lot because I run a home business and I take notes after coaching sessions and I like to print them and put them in my client's file. I also print my water timeline each day to make sure that I get my two gallons in. You heard right, two gallons of water. Who does that? I do. Why? Because it serves me. And also my nutrition log, whatever plan that I'm following that I created for myself, at that time I print that daily so I can check it off. Don't forget that I recently shared a diet that I created and followed a couple of months ago and had really great results. You can see that diet, you can access it, you can print it out and tweak it however you would like. Um, there will be a link in the description box below to get to that. Also, the video where I talk more in depth about it because I walk you through my meal planning and my meal prepping to, to honor that meal plan that I did, which created a lot of great results. So check it out if you're in the market for tweaking your eating and choosing some other foods that maybe serve you, that would be a great plan to follow. And then on my habit tracker, um, if you took the bingo board workshop, you'll know more about my habit tracker. Um, there's actually one that you can use, but, and, and I've been forever reading my daily word, my daily devotional. So I'll have my devotional linked. I also link it in my monthly newsletter that goes out the first Monday of every month. So this past Monday, that newsletter went out, which is a roundup of all of the purchases that I made throughout the month of May. If you miss that newsletter or you aren't subscribed to my newsletter, which goes out once or twice per week, 
I'll have a link for you to get subscribed to the newsletter and also a link so you can get that recent purchases. But yes, that's the first Monday of every month. I share what I purchased and I have a lot of goodies in there, especially preparing for travel. But I always have my daily devotional. I never miss a day of reading that. And then I always do at least one additional what I call daily word. It's kind of like another devotional and I have never found any devotionals that I like more than the unity. I, there's just, I just, I can't, I can't, I, I can't do any other one. <laughs> I just can't. These are so great. But I always do one additional. So on my habit tracker, I have to check every single day that I did my daily devotional, that I did my daily word, and that I did my note cards, which would be my, again, if you took my live a mastery life where I walk you through my personal documents, that's what I'm describing. Every single day I have to do that. It's just I'm transferring those documents over to note cards. Actually, a week ago today, last Friday's newsletter, I'll have it linked, um, I shared an image of those note cards because I shared a couple of quotes or, or things that I say to myself. So check that out and take that workshop. It's such a great one, Live a Mastery Life and the Bingo Board. Both, so many great workshops. Take advantage of my workshops. If working with a coach is not in your season right now, I can't recommend. I have some great workshops that can just help you to master your life and master you. So check them out. There's a whole library. There's a write-up on each one. And I just can't express how powerful my workshops and classes are. Finishing up, but it's a lot, of supplements and food item items. You can do this, Trace. You can do this. Advocare. O2 Gold. I'll let you read up on it. We have two of these. Neuro Mag Magnesium L3 and 8. Um, I'm always stocking up on these and just ordered one. Vitamin B12 sublingual. L theanine. Vitamin C. I've moved on to a time release one that I take four times per day. And I take 2,000 milligrams per day for reference. Dandelion root, niacinamide, and this is also vitamin B3. Taurine, not everything is on repurchase. I cycle some of my supplements, but most of them, yes, they're always on repurchase, but not all of them because I even saw a note not to repurchase that one. Papaya enzymes, instead of a digestive enzyme, which this is, this is the one I'm taking. If you work with me in, in coaching for the Healthy and Fit Bundle, um, I have all of those clients on papaya enzyme, plus a couple of other supplements as well. There'll be a link to get more information on the Healthy and Fit. I am now to August, so I have three openings for August. Clients, I take three clients per month. So if you're looking for working one-on-one -on -one and actually having a diet plan and your cardio, check out the Healthy and Fit. All of the information will be there. Apigenin Spark. This is by Advocare in Fruit Punch. And this is just, I'll cycle this as well. I'm still currently using Spark. Um, but I won't, there will be pockets where I don't. So I do, there's a lot I do with my supplements. One thing that I always, always use, and right now I'm drinking it two times per day, is my BCAA glutamine from Transparent Labs. I always recommend this product, um, especially to my Three Week Intense members. Don't forget, Three Week Intense starts in just over one month for quarter three, and you can get sign up and get registered. Such a wonderful program. There's a whole entire page on the Hensel Coaching and Consulting website where you can get more information on Three Week Intense, and you can get involved involved in that program that's been running for several years. I run it quarterly. Cookies in cream protein powder, the only protein powder that interests me. You will never see me stick with a plant-based protein powder. Ugh. Love my whey protein and I love the cookies and cream. UMP by Beverly. Some food items. Not currently on my plan, but I was doing a protein shake where I did like 10 ounces of unsweetened almond milk, one scoop of my UMP cookies and cream protein powder, and two tablespoons of the PB2, and it was killer! And I think I'm going to be incorporating that 
in my next diet. Foodies, gluten-free soft white bread currently on my plan. I have this post-workout toasted, half of it with two scrambled egg whites and the other half with one teaspoon of raw honey. Mm, so good, so good. Mrs. Dash, my seasoning of choice for my fish, which I eat two to three times per day. Barney butter, bare smooth almond butter, no added sugar or salt. Very, very yummy. Love me some almond butter, it's like dessert. Some are better than others. If you agree, leave it in the comment section below. Cream of rice, not currently on my plan, but it was on a recent plan. It could be on the one that I talked about earlier, I don't recall, but if you purchase that, you'll be able to see. But this is also something that I incorporate many times throughout the year on my plan for post-workout. I don't have it any other time of the day, but it's great post-workout and it's great with a teaspoon of raw honey drizzled over top and sprinkled with some cinnamon, so good. And then currently on my plan during my workout is dates. Um, I've been incorporating dates on my plan for the last three, I think. Right now I have one per day. I think last plan I had two per day and the plan before that maybe three, but these are so good. And yes, I eat them during my long extended morning routine and workout. So that, my friends, wraps up empties for the month of April and May. Wow, a lot, a lot, because I'm not doing it monthly, but I know you guys love my empties videos. So thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking it out through all of this. Don't forget, there's a ton of links in the description box as well as on the corresponding blog post, or maybe they're all on the corresponding blog post because I'm limited on how many characters I can put down below and I wanna make sure all the products get linked. So my recommendation, tap that top link in the description box below that will take you to the corresponding blog post, which is always your easiest place to shop from. Take advantage of those workshops, sign up for three week intents, check out last Tuesday's video, follow me on Instagram stories and have a great weekend and a great month of June. And I'll probably be back with empties maybe the end of July or August. We'll just see. All right, thanks for being here and have a great day.